In this video, I'm going to be focusing on the inverted yield curve and looking at first the recessions and the information we can draw from that. And then I'm going to take a look at the bottom of the market and see if we can make some predictions and we eventually see if those come true. So first with the recessions, we can take a look at where we were at when those recessions began in the last three. And that's including 2020. So the start, we're looking at about 0.6 to begin the recession. Uh, and you can see it with those bottom uh, two red lines intersecting with the green line. And then the, at the top, you can see that's the point where the recession ended. So on the inverted yield curve, we were at 3.33. So that's the 10-year minus the three-month treasury yield. And we're currently at 1.62 quite a ways away but um that's when it ended uh that's when the recession ended in those two previous periods so it can give us an idea maybe that'll occur in a similar fashion again and end at 3.3 but only time will tell so i'm just looking at the um uh, disinformation now let's start to look, taking a look at the bottom of the market so we're currently at uh 1.62 and the bottom of the market uh, for the um, housing crash was February 2009, and we were at 2.76. So you can see the difference between the blue line and where we're, where we're currently at. Quite, quite a gap between the bottom of the market during that period and where we're currently at. Now we can also take a look at the bottom of the market in um, August of 2002. We were at 2.45 versus... Uh, 2.76 in February 2009. So that's uh, that's pretty much the difference between where we're at now and the bottom of the market. Worth taking into consideration. Now, just for reference purposes, the black line is showing where we're currently at. Now, let's take a look at where we were at when we were previous, previously at similar levels. So we're at 1.62 now. And in February 2008, we were at 1.68. So that um, February 2008 was one year prior to the bottom of the market in February 2009. So 12 months of difference. Being, being that we're in May right now, if we're going to use that as a gauge, now it's not going to be precise, but it could get us in the ballpark. Um, adding 12 months to May 2021 would be May of uh, 2022, which is pretty close to my previous estimates of April of 2022 in previous videos. Now we can take a look at where we were at in February 2008 when um, we were at uh, a yield of 1.68, which is pretty similar to what we're at now. And we were uh, in the midst of a crash, but still... Still not at the bottom, and you can see the, the difference there. Um, still quite a ways to go before we actually reach the bottom in February of 2009. It's worth taking a look at where we're currently at as far as stocks go. Uh, this is where we're currently at for the S&P 500. Uh, no crash has occurred, but I don't believe that it's not going to happen because... Uh, we still haven't reached those yield levels yet. And uh, from my perspective, uh, all this stimulus is really causing things to be uh, maintained and stabilized. But uh, we're going to start to see, in, from what I view, I I'm seeing that yields could eventually go up. We're talking about um, the Fed is potentially looking at interest rate raises. So that's going to have an effect on uh, the stock market. And then it, we're going to have to do it eventually to counteract the inflation that is definitely occurring as a result of all the uh, injection of pretty much artificial money into the system. So it's worth considering where we were at when um, the dot-com bubble, prior to the dot-com bubble. So in June 2001, we were at 1.77. Now, if we take a look at June of 2001, where we were at, 
we were in the midst of the crash, but we still hadn't reached the bottom. So from what I can see in previous periods, when we were at similar levels, there's still, it seems like there's still danger ahead. So uh, worth uh, having a little bit of caution over, in my opinion. This update video for the inverted yield curve has been requested by Daniel B. So just wanted to give a shout out to you. Thank you for encouraging me to make another video and update everything. Um, if you like this video and you think you learned something and you think it would be helpful, helpful to other people, uh, a like on the video would definitely help in that pursuit. All right. Thank you.